gonna do is I'm making a special toaster. <gasps> what what does it do? Instead of putting bread in it, you put toast in it. And do you know what it does to the toast? Yeah. What? I don't know. It turns it back into bread. portion of this video was sponsored by KiwiCo. More on that later. Everyone makes mistakes. Facing the consequences of those mistakes is the catalyst for personal development. Or it's the impetus for inventing a time machine. That's why I built this toaster. Though it's not a normal toaster. It's a toaster for your mistakes. Let me give you an example. Have you ever been absent-mindedly making toast and then realized you didn't actually want toast, you just wanted regular bread? Okay, no big deal. But then you realize that you actually don't have any more bread. And the literal queen of England is sitting in your dining room waiting for her untoasted bread. Hyperbole? Maybe. But probably only the part about the queen. I do think that at some point in all of our lives, we've made a piece of toast, looked at it, and thought, I don't want this toast. Hence, time travel toaster. Although it doesn't actually travel through time, it does allow you to circumvent your mistakes in a similar manner, turning back the clock on your toast. The process is so simple that even a five-year-old could understand it. So it's a good thing that my nephew's almost seven. What is it that turns bread into toast? It gets hot, right? Oh, yeah, it gets So what does that heat do? Um, it turns it hot. Then it dries out and becomes stiff. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and put water back into the toast. If we just dumped water, then it would just be soaking wet. So what we need to do is we need to put the water into the air. <gasps> what is that? It looks like water. It's tiny, 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 tiny drops of water. So we put that inside the bottom of the toaster, and then the toaster will fill with fog, and it'll soften up, and it'll turn back into bread. This goes right in here. That goes inside of here, and that is the bottom of the toaster. So I'm going to build a new one that's going to have two of these inside of it. Cool, good do this. So you make your design when I watch you. That's cool. Yeah. It's doing it, Uncle Joe. It is doing it. It fits. The fog is generated by piezoelectric transducers, or ultrasonic fogger modules, which are cheap to get on Amazon. They generate fog via high-frequency oscillation, not with heat, which is perfect for creating a cool, rehydrating mist for our toast. In order to fit everything into the toaster, I first gutted all the original parts, but I was able to reuse the electromagnet that holds down the lever. The lever now activates a limit switch that turns on a relay timer module. The module then sends power to the foggers, electromagnet, some lights, and a fan which is wired in series with the electromagnet, making it spin at a slower speed and generate just enough pressure to cause the fog to gently billow out the top of the toaster. So now it's time to answer the only question that really matters. Does it work? Since I can't reach through the screen and give you a piece of floppy toast, you're just gonna have to take the word of the people that I did give floppy toast. What do you think? Good. It's kind of, is, it, is it like bread? Mm -hmm. It is bread. It is bread? It is bread. Is it a little dry? Yeah, let's we'll just get back to the game. You wanna play Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars is my favorite. So since I lost Eddie to the dark side, I decided to bring in some people with some slightly more mature palates. I want you to uh, taste the bread. I really don't want to taste the bread. What do you think? Tastes like pumpernickel bread. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was in a toaster on this side. Looks like it was in a toaster on this side. So what do you think happened to that bread? I think it got toasted. Now try it. Guess what? That bread was toasted. You ready to see? It's a toaster. Do you want to see what it looks like when it works? Is it kind of like a toaster? I invented a time travel toaster. No way. Oh my god, is this yesterday's bread? No, 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 no. It was toasted today. It's tomorrow's bread. It I takes can taste the future. <laughs> it's uh. tough what do you really think? Yeah, it tastes like normal, moist bread. Come on in. Take a bite of that. It tastes like normal, untoasted bread. So you can tell that one's been toasted because of the color on it. But it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, tastes like bread. Is it dry? Like drier than a normal piece of bread. It's just the same. So it tastes the same as a normal piece of bread. I don't think so. Voila. 
<laughs> I don't even understand how this works. It's like a humidifier inside a toaster. Interesting, because whenever you eat it, you can't tell that it's been like hydrated. Tastes like pumper nickel bread. Does it taste different in any way? No, I don't think so. What if I told you I invented a device that takes toast and turns it back into bread? What? what the f yes! How does that work? It looks really high tech. Does it always smoke? It's pretty cool. It does not look like a bomb. It looks like a toast. <laughs> I feel like all the time I'm like, dang it, why did I put that in the toast? I really wish it wasn't toasted. Has that ever happened to you? No. Now, I know you've got a lot of questions, like, how long did I toast the bread for? How long does it take to untoast the bread? Did my testers have any other thoughts about what the bread really tasted like? Was the toaster designed after some 80s automotive time travel icon? Well, I've got answers to all those questions and more right after I tell you about today's sponsor, KiwiCo. KiwiCo is a subscription service that sends you monthly boxes with awesome projects like this pinball machine that they sent for my nephew, Eddie. KiwiCo's mission is to expose kids to STEAM concepts at an early age in order to optimize their creative problem-solving abilities later in life. This is something I totally support. I might be good at building stuff now, but there's no way I would have these abilities if I hadn't spent so much time building and taking things apart at a young age. There's no shortage of problems to solve in this world, and KiwiCo is a great way to grow while having fun at any age. Seriously, my friend Damien had never heard of KiwiCo, and when I mentioned that they had kits for all ages, he ended up deciding that he just had to get a subscription. So, KiwiCo isn't just for kids? You can, like, make a ukulele out of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> I thought it was just for kids, and, like, I would be all over this. KiwiCo is a great way to keep your kids' minds and hands engaged over the summer, and they save you loads of time and hassle by delivering everything you need right to your door. So there's no last minute trips to the store for supplies. So if you or someone you know wants to become a creative mastermind and you want to help support the people who are supporting my channel, then go to kiwico.com slash joelcreates to get 50% off your first month of any crate. That's kiwico.com slash joelcreates. Now, was my stainless steel toaster inspired by a stainless steel vehicle from the 80s that was also a time travel cinema icon? Uh... 1.21 gigawatts! Gigawatts! I'll let you decide. The time travel toaster takes anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour to turn two pieces of toast back into bread. And my regular toaster was set anywhere from a two and a half to a three and a half when toasting the bread. I gave the testers a piece of toasted pumpernickel and then a piece of toasted white bread. As you might've guessed, I gave them the toasted pumpernickel first because its dark color concealed the fact that it had already been toasted. Now Damien already knew about the toaster before he tried the bread, but Stefano, Amy, and Ian had no idea which might have explained their trepidation at being handed a random piece of bread in my basement. But yes, it really turns toast back into bread. Would you say that it worked? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you like spray painted the bread because it looked- You thought it was bread that was spray painted, like it worked that well. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it's not toast. Nice. Be as brutally honest as possible. Did you have any idea that that pumpernickel was toasted? No. It didn't taste toasted. What would you give it compared to a normal piece of pumpernickel on a scale of one to 10? E equally shitty. I'm like <laughs> bumper now. now, I would ask you to like this video and to subscribe to the channel, but if you feel that you're just not ready for that level of emotional commitment, I just want you to know, I will wait for you. Thank you to everyone who made this video possible, and thanks to you for watching it. I'll see you next time. Can I finish the bread?